Hey, good morning, everybody. Had a wonderful weekend, but what are we doing today? We are heading to back to Spring Creek Baptist Church to set up a PTZ Optics camera that we installed a while ago. They actually got the remote control and everything in, so we're gonna be configuring that, finishing up all that, helping them with their workflow, and then we'll see what else we get into. So let's go. AJ the CEO here. If it's first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member. Links are below. So I'm starting off my, my vlogs a little bit different because, um, you know, I actually do other stuff throughout my vlog. So I just wanted to help categorize this as well too so this is um, a bunch of people have asked me how to set up a PTZ and that's what I got to do today anyway um, and that's what we're gonna be working on we'll see what else we get into while we're over on that side of town so let me get geared up because it's cold but it's raining which stinks but anyway let's get get the wallet in the pocket and did I eat no I didn't eat anything for breakfast but anyway let me get, get some lotion on my face and clean that up and then let's head up out of here. All right, we are back again here at Spring Creek Baptist Church with Pastor Cooper over here. <laughs> and we're gonna be setting up their PTZ Optics camera. Originally we were here and the IP controller, we thought that the firmware update will allow it to work. It didn't, so it ended up having to order just a specific serial remote to work with this. Now, when you get one of these, this is, very simple to work with but I you know y'all know me I don't like having to pay more than what's needed but we have these RS232 connectors that will connect directly from the remote into this this is how it can be trolled can be controlled now the IP based ones can be controlled over the network and that's what we found out that these will not work this way so originally these remotes come with this connector that goes to the back of the remote and then the RS-232 connector here. Now you always could buy this type of cable and but you got to see how far we're going. You can get that distance but you're going to be paying an arm and a leg for that. So what I like to do is get these Marshall adapters. There are other companies that actually make these but these will convert the RS-232, the in and the out for daisy chaining. So if they have another camera, we don't need to run another connection from here. We will run a connection out from here to the next camera. But that will convert this to just typical um, Cat 5E, Cat 6. And now you can run that distance. So we got one that goes from the back of the remote, goes to Ethernet RJ45. RJ45 and it goes here so in prepping these these remotes can control a bunch of cameras we need to go in here and set the ID of the camera and let me turn this off and normally on the bottom it will tell you how to set this up but it doesn't have it so most likely we have to go into the actual camera itself once we get the network and determine what's the camera ID. And honestly, it doesn't really matter because it's only one camera right now, but when another camera is added, that's what's gonna be important. So let's hook this up with the cable, the original cable, just to make sure it can be controlled. Then we'll swap it out with these. All right, we got it connected over the cable that comes with this. We just got it in startup mode. I do not have this connected to the ATEM in any way for right now. All right. So now that it's finished that, do we get any control? By default, it should be camera one. And it's not. So we're gonna have to go and make some adjustments. All right, so we got it going here. Now, when you're setting this up, you have, uh, I don't know if I can get close enough for you to see the settings, but normally, on this this huddle cam you're gonna hold down setup 
for three seconds. You can have your password, and by default, the password is 8888. Enter. We're going to go to camera setup. And then we're going to pick which camera this is. Which is this camera? Um, you can probably do it to camera one. Doesn't really matter. Do camera one. And then we are using the Visca protocol. You got to make sure that your camera actually supports that. Pick that. Hit enter. Then we're going to go down to the protocol. You can press left and right to change it. But we're on this. Hit enter. Success. We're done. Let's exit all the way out. As you can see, we're on camera one. And there we go. And if you needed to jump to another camera, if it was set up, so you would go to camera two, but obviously we're not connected to anything. But in the future, that's how we would set it up. Camera one. All right. Now you also had to log, we logged into the PTZ Optics site here. You can see that we have the connection to it. There's our Visca protocol there. We don't need to really set that. It will intelligently know which one we're doing. So, and this is with the original cable. Now, what I need to do is go get um, a shorter cable. I'm gonna make a Ethernet cable, and we're gonna switch these adapters out. And obviously, we want to test to make sure this is working right now before we go and mount this up there and all this other stuff. Always test this stuff before you actually have to put it up anywhere. All right, we have our stuff set up through the connection, and do we get? Do we still get motion? Yep, as you can see, yeah, it works. So now, what we're gonna do? I gotta get the ladder. And when we were pulling this cable, we missed this pole here. So that same cable I just used, I'm gonna terminate another one and put a coupler in between that cable so we can flip the cable behind that pole and completely hide these. I also have this other SDI cable that I had from Lebanon left over. We're gonna connect that and that's it. Now the other thing, I have not seen the SDI to HDMI adapter. I hope they got that because that was the other piece that was missing. Um, but anyway, let's get, get the ladder. Um, well, let me terminate this other cable, put this stuff here, get the cables up, hitting out the way. And then we got to find a place to mount the camera and we'll go from there. All right, so we spliced some cables, added a coupler in between. I'm not gonna be able to test it until we get the stuff connected, but that's good. All right, so the plan is to probably punch a hole through here, run the cables up to right under there, right to the side of here above this board, because that's what I'm gonna screw into for the camera, and come through there and put a plate on the other side. So let me move that ladder up here. All right, we got the mount up, got the hole for fishing the wires through, and I have more than enough cable so what I'm going to do is got my more powerful saw um, drill, excuse me, going to punch a hole through here. Make sure I can actually get through here. Oh, I get this whole thing through here. So I'm probably going to have to punch through up here to fish all these extra cables. And then it goes up into that hole right there. So let's get that drill. All right. So we're going to make these nice and neat. I got some slack. We're gonna put that up under there and tack it to the wall. Put enough slack here. We got the power brick on this side. Now all we gotta do is hang the camera, set it to be upside down in the settings, make sure you get an internet connection, and then go from there. So the white cable is for internet, blue is for control, which I need to terminate. All right, we're all mounted. Like I said, I got a get some brackets to screw down all this extra slack here and find out what they're gonna do with power. This is just temporary. Let's get back and make sure we see everything. Alrighty, we are all done. We got everything tested. Need to get a new HDMI cable um, for... Let's... 
need to get a shorter HDMI cable for the monitor here, but let's check out the setup. All right, so we got this one hooked up into the A10. The other one is HDMI going through an SDI to HDMI converter there, which is from the SDI cable that's running to the camera in the front. So, as you can see, this is the main camera right there. We switch over to number two. Boom, there we go. And then we have the remote control here. So we could come over here and up and down, left and right. All that other with this stuff. Can I get me? There we go. All right, so we are good to go. They just need to get a shorter cable, but my work here is done. Yay! And what time is it? Oh, it's 1:15. Oh, that was a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> but anyway, let me let Pastor Cooper know, and then we're heading out of here. All right, another project completed it's been a minute for that one um then tomorrow we're going to be installing the wallcat eights and running everything and i don't know if they finished all the stuff there in the church but the main thing is it is to at least get all of the other stuff that i had in place done so that's fishing the other cables changing out those low voltage boxes that weren't the right size so that these fit and connect everything, terminate everything. And I think we should be good from there. Um, we still gotta come back and um, whenever they get TVs, mount them and do all that stuff like that. Um, and I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I am going the wrong way. But anyway, let me get my map on so I can get up out of here.